it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood <laughs> uh, for a trio of I-35 LCs from Callings. Oh, hello. Uh, we are back after a little bit of a break for the, the holidays, and, and why not start off with a bang? Um, featuring three of my favorite guitars. My, who cares what I think? But they are pretty fun to compare within the same model. So to start off, LC, what does that stand for? Laminate construction. So it is a press top, like certain Gibsons were. Um, I'm holding what is a very basic spec on this guitar for them. If you go to the Callings website and you want to look up what the I-35 LC uh, is on its, on, its, on its, I don't know, the cheat sheet on it tells me it's Lawler Low Wines. Uh, it's their C-shaped neck. Nothing's aged. It's got a pick guard. Faded cherry. Come on. So this is where this starts. I'm going to start on the neck pickup kind of clean. I do have an overdrive pedal running through a Car Mercury V in Coco. Okay, Coco? Okay. Uh, but I'm not going to hit the overdrive yet. So here we go. Neck. And I'm dialed back a little from 10. dirty that up a little. too wanky I just get annoyed so I don't want to get too wanky but just letting you know this guitar can go from like the cleanest clearest clear clean to that overdrive that I can I can kind of predict and control that level of guts you heard me on that uh, volume knob on the bridge go from about eight to about nine to about ten so it, there's really a difference between eight Nine, ten. Really gradual, and one thing that I uh, love knowing about the combination of the Lawlers with the way Collings wires them is that degree of overdrive, the, the way I'm able to dial it in. It's a lot to do with how the, the, the knob is set. Watch your knobs, kids. Um, let's go from red to the only real difference between this guitar, Carmel, Caramel, Carmel, where Clint Eastwood was the mayor. Caramel, I don't know, you say it however you want. This is going to start clean on my neck, just like I did on the previous guitar. I'll dial back a little bit on volume. This guitar has their 60s 
neck carve, which from this point on the neck is very similar to the, six, to the C neck, but as we get up towards the 12th fret between nine and 12, it stays really slim. So I notice it mostly in this area. I'm extending an olive branch to you as a peace offering. We're pals. Um, 60s neck carve, same pickups, same if you look on the spec on, on Colling's website. Neck pickup starting about eight and a half. Let's say you never want to play bad blues like me, bad and not in the good bad way, the bad bad way, like bad bad. You see? Let's say you just want to play clean on your on your. fractions. So I can get, again, really clean, too dirty, low wind imperials from Lawler. Let's listen to the aged blonde. Somebody left their tuner attached to this headstock. I don't know who it was. They're going to hear about it. Aged blonde. So aged, when it's uh, aged finish and hardware, you'll notice the, the, the metal parts of the hardware will have a little bit of patina to them. It's not like oxidation and it's never rust. From Collings, it's always just a, they just mute the shininess. So patina is a good word for that. And also on the finish itself, in the nitro, you can see little spider web finish checking occurring. It's kind of like the beginning of the aging process. It will continue to do so. Um, but they take it to that extent themselves. So no overdrive on.
Okay, I put it, I put it way out of tune. That's the point. Um, Mercury V from Car Coco. I'm running through the major overdrive um, from the animals pedals, which I don't know if those are on our website anymore. So maybe, I, but they're rad as you can hear. Um, the guitar itself, between these three, what I noticed first of all is the neck difference, because we have folks that call and ask what the difference between the C-shaped neck and the 60s neck is. The, the 60s neck that I showed you on the Carmel guitar has, it's just slimmer up high. This feels really full in my hand all the way through. Uh, the aged finish is on the hardware and the knobs and the, 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 the checking of the finish itself. Check your finish. Check your knobs. It's just a stupid video today. I'm just in, in that mood. Um, but their Faded Cherry is very reminiscent of what Gibson did. Uh, this blonde is very much a natural, you know, formerly the natural finish. Um, but if you have questions about these, we do have all three of these in the shop at the moment, which is rare. Um, and I'd love to help you either answer questions about it or find out which one might work best for what you're hoping to do. Because these are, as we always say in these videos about these guitars, they're exceptional. So feel free um, to call and get, get uh, yourself on the, uh, on the old. Send a message. Send it on through. Uh, I'm going to go out with uh, some some middle pickupness with a little extra bridge. Mm -hmm.